Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's work on solving two-step equations. And we will work on solving x plus or minus p equals q, or p times x equals q, or a fraction x over p equals q. So let's get started. Let's look at this first example. x plus 3 equals 9. Well, we want to get the x by itself. So what we can do is we can undo the positive 3 by subtracting negative 3. And what we do to one side, we need to do to the other. So on the left side, the 3's cancel. And then 9 minus 3 equals 6. So x equals 6. Now, let's look at this ne next example in which we have x plus 2 plus 5 equals 10. In this example, again, we want to get x by itself, but we can combine like terms. We can add 5 plus 2, which is 7. So we have x plus 7 equals 10, and then we can do the opposite operation. And so we'll subtract 7 from both sides. The 7s cancel, and we have x equals 3. So now, now in this next example, we have 3x plus 3 equals 12. Again, we're trying to get the x by itself on the left and then a number on the right. However, which step do we do? Do we divide or do we add? Well, you've heard of PEMDAS before, which is the order of operations, but that's when you're simplifying. When you have an equal sign, you use the opposite. You use SADMEP. And notice we have an equal sign. So it's subtraction, addition, division, multiplication, then exponents, then parentheses. So let's begin with addition. So we're going to subtract 3 from both sides. The 3's cancel, and then 12 minus 3 is 9. Now we have 3x equals 9. In order to undo the multiplication, we're going to divide. So we will divide both sides by 3. Okay, The 3's cancel, and that leaves us with x equals 3. Let's look at another example. We have 2x minus 2 equals 8. Again, we're going to use SADMEP. And so we are going to undo the negative 2 with a positive 2. So we're going to add 2 to both sides. So now we get 2x equals 10. Then we're going to get rid of the multiplication by dividing both sides by 2. And so... Uh, the 2's cancel, and that equals x equals 5. And then finally, we have a problem with a fraction. So we have x over 4 plus 2 equals 5. Well, again, we're going to start with the addition. Remember, SADMEP. So we'll subtract 2 from both sides. So the 2's cancel, and then 5 minus 2 is 3. So now we have x over 4 equals 3. Well, the 4 is on the bottom, which means that it's division. So to undo division, we're going to multiply uh, both sides by 4. So that will be 4 over 1. So that 4 is cancel. And then 3 times 4 is 12. And so that means x is equal to 12. I hope that was helpful.